welcome to the Dentamax tip of the week. Today I wanted to show you guys how you can do insurance takebacks, also known as insurance refunds. So if an insurance company overpays you for a charge or pays you on something that's actually not covered and then you get that dreaded mail that says, hey, give us back our money, this is how you would handle it. So here in your ledger, what you're going to do, and this might be new for some of you that have been on the program for a while. I know for a bit we were doing it as a patient adjustment. You can now go ahead and get it as an insurance adjustment in here so that it is falling under your insurance bucket and not your patient bucket. So that was one of the really great things we did with the Dentamax 18 version. So now you can come over to the side here and go ahead and say new insurance payments. Put in the amount that you're going to be giving back to insurance, whatever that happens to be. And you're going to be doing a payment of negative X amount, whatever it is you have to give back to the insurance. So I'm just going to say 150 just for fun and then distribute. And then you're going to want to make sure you check show paid transactions because this is obviously something insurance already paid and if you do not check that box you won't be able to find those codes then you just take a peek here look for the date of service and the code they're asking for refunds on so I'm just gonna pick some kind of at random here I'm gonna say maybe we're doing this one here for 136 so we're gonna come into adjustment and we're gonna do positive 136 and we're going to come down here and we're going to do positive 17. And then we're going to go ahead and post our payments and close. Close the screen. And then you're going to see this insurance adjustment down here. And what you can do if you want to make sure it actually says insurance take back is you can double click here. And then just go ahead and hit the drop down here and choose insurance take back and save your changes on those two guys. Just go ahead and say no to those two pop-ups. You don't want to adjust it. It's perfectly fine as is. Save changes, no and no. And so now when you look at this, you have the proof of why things are the way that they are. So you can sit here and say, all right, we charged out $170. The patient was an adjustment from a credit on the account of $34. Insurance had paid us $136, which had the charge paid off, but now they're asking for that money back for $136 and it makes sure that the balance goes back to $136 and it is now the patient's responsibility. So you make sure that it's all calculating correctly and again the key thing here is it now falls in your insurance bucket not your patient bucket. If you have any questions at all about this or need some assistance feel free to reach out to the training team by calling 1-800-704-8494 and then go ahead and just follow the prompts for practice management and then the training team or you can always email training at dentamax.com. Thanks so much guys. Have a great day.